Now the other element of the mixing board that I'm going to demonstrate here is the uh, mix select keys that are down along the right hand side of the mixer. Uh, in this case the SQ6 and the SQ5 is similar. The mix keys are actually by default set up as the um, as looking at the auxiliaries and or the groupings for the mixer and how it's set up. So for example if I press mix number one button here this is now showing me the master fader level for the uh, auxiliary one mix and then when we are looking over at these um, faders over here these are now the auxiliary settings for each of the respective channels so for channel one the auxiliary mix level is set there and for channel three it's set here channel five and so forth so this one here is for the uh, main monitor out uh, number three this auxiliary mix is for the um, Oh no, sorry, this is the, uh, these are the individual, uh, these are the lines, so for this, uh, so this is the first input, the third input, uh, so it's not the auxiliary master, this is the auxiliary, auxiliary setting for that particular line. Um, so the fifth person, sixth person, seventh person, uh, and so forth, and uh, if we need it also for the, uh, the wireless, in case we're using it for um, a handheld unit. Then when we go back to press the second mix level, in this case, uh, we're using that one as the uh, our hearing assist system. So again, we've got the master for the hearing assist over here, and then the other lines that we have included in to go to our hearing assist system are the pastor, the wireless, and uh, eventually I'll be throwing in the other ones for... Uh, uh, some of the other people here, but just initially set up it was uh, the first, second, and third uh, line inputs are set to go to our hearing assist. The third one I'm not using. Fourth one, uh, that is for eventually going to be for this little anchor monitor over here, uh, which we're not using today, just a little bit of a wiring glitch, and so I'm just not going to use that for this week, but if it's going to be set up as a uh, a fourth line auxiliary mix then that's how we would do that so again we've got the master over here uh, but for the fourth mix any of these other ones we would set those to whatever is required for the person that is going to be using that monitor mix we tend to use it for the pianist most of the time uh, but sometimes we we'll use it for uh, an individual singer or a pair of singers during the service then uh, the last, some of the other ones here, uh, line or uh, mix five is for our uh, going out to the computer for recording. Again, the master and the one that we're primarily going to be used for recording is going to be the pastor's mic, which is this one here, uh, that particular line. And so I'll be writing that during the service just to. Uh, make sure that we have a decent enough level going to the computer for the recording software over there. However, if you also want to use your main left or right to go to the QU drive to record onto there, then uh, in this case I've got a very small micro uh, USB uh, recording device, 64 gigabyte, uh, which is pretty surprising how small it is, but uh, you can also use that for doing recordings as well, either stereo recordings, which are from your master left right, or you can use it with a combination of all of your strips in order to do multi track recording on this particular unit. Uh, now, the last uh, four that are down here, as far as the uh, mix uh, set is concerned, these are for your group faders. So this one is going to be for uh, group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. So depending on how you have things mixed for 
uh, say a lead vocal, background vocals, uh, if you have a drum kit set up where you've got five mics uh, set up on a single input so that you're going to be having something going out to a um, mix for like live streaming or a podcast, uh, then you can do that as well. So those are just some of the other items that can be uh, done with that.